And when I saw how much difference my pay was versus theirs, it just took my breath away. Lily Ledbetter devoted 19 years to Goodyear. Then she discovered how little she was paid compared to Goodyear men who did the same work. And I felt so degraded, so less of a human, you know, with, it just seemed like all of my respect suddenly went out the window. It was gone. Lily sued for discrimination and won. I had to do it. I had to stand up because it was not right. But the U.S. Supreme Court reversed her victory. The high court said she was not entitled to any compensation because she waited too long to file her claim. They reversed the law. So that's why it was so important for me to fight along beside all of the many, many other people who were trying to get the law changed back. And Congress did it. Congress, the House, and the Senate passed the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, and then the President signed it last January. That was just an amazing moment in my life. The fight for equal pay for equal work isn't over. The Paycheck Fairness Act takes Lilly Ledbetter's cause even farther. I want to see Paycheck Fairness pass because had Paycheck Fairness been on a law at the time I was working, I would have had the right to ask my employer where I stand in relationship to my peers. I could ask a co-worker what they were making and tell them what I was making without retaliation. And paycheck fairness is so essential. I've heard it described as being the hammer for the nail that the Ledbetter bill is, and I would agree to that. The Paycheck Fairness Act has already passed in the House and is now poised for passage in the Senate. For women like Lily, it is vital this act becomes law. I'm working for the, my daughter, my granddaughter, and all of the women who's out there working today.